Hi, my name is Sal Minio. Do you feel like you're 18 or do you feel like you're older? No, I feel, uh, I'd say I feel 18, but you know, how does an 18 year old feel, you know? <laughs> I oh. feel good, let's say it that way. Were you born somewhere other than the United States of America? <laughs> no. I don't know exactly how to put this, but do you have dates? Oh, yeah. Do you have time for dates? Oh, yeah. Maybe? There's always time for dating. <laughs> have I the honor of your acquaintance? Uh, no, you don't. That's $4.60. <laughs> oh, Mr. Preston. Oh, she's the lady who sends the cookies in. Would uh, you like uh, the zip code? No, that's fine. <laughs> I would. You uh, in the category of the tall, dark, handsome type. No, no. What? Well, I, the most fantastic thing I could do now after he did the, that song, and I said, which, by the way, was off key. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I can, uh, I can bite my fingernails, and I can do that uh, at the same time. I can shine Bachelor Number One's shoes with his hair. I told you he's hairy. Now, would you like to see all of those at one time, or hear some of them? Uh, well, I think You'd I'm rather not. go on to the next question. Okay. <laughs> he told me the story about this prisoner who was in jail, and his mother came to see him. And the mother came and she said, my boy, I don't understand you. You, I, you go out and you buy a gun and you shoot people and then you go rob, but what kind of a boy I bring you up to be? I give you a nice home. He says, hey, Ma, look, first of all, we're not Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you mommy's favorite? How does your mommy feel about me? <laughs> no. Why, Why were you mommy's, you mommy's favorite? favorite? Uh, well, if you knew my mummy, you'd understand why I'm mummy's favorite. She's a pretty heavy mummy. Been around a long time. You yeah. mean heavy in, like, a fat sense, or heavy, like, really heavy? Well, she's a little of that, too, but she's pretty heavy. It's a proven fact now that violence does achieve the goal. If it weren't but for... it's wrong. I know it's wrong. I am opposed it's to so violence. Wrong. But it's a proven fact that when there is violence, uh, the blacks, all of a sudden, because of violence, have suddenly uh, are getting some of the, their rights uh, in this nation. The Vietnam War, it wasn't the older people. It, by no way was it the older people who brought it out into the open. It was the younger people who had to go and demonstrate and have their heads kicked in. And now, all of a sudden, Life magazine will show <coughs> pictures of, of the Vietnamese atrocities. But it's the younger people that are doing it, and we're forcing them into doing it in ways that, that uh, uh, have violent connotations, the demonstrations and all of that. They're the ones that are doing it. We're not out there demonstrating well, getting so, our you heads know, kicked. When you, when you say atrocities, you know that there are atrocities perpetrated upon our servicemen, too. You know about that, don't you? In any, of course. You know we that, should you not know that small there. children throw grenades into groups of our so soldiers. Exactly. But war breeds war. Hate breeds hate. And what they've been trying to say is that it's not a matter of who is getting killed or who's killing who. The fact is we are killing each other. What difference does it make? Mm -hmm. One of the lines that they always throw is that it's not my cup of tea, and I'll lay your odds, it's not her cup of tea. Hello? <laughs> it's not your cup of tea. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. But... Oh, you know, Lee, I don't know about the other romantic screen heroes, but I tend to satisfy a lot of why. I have a lot of thoughts on prison reform, mm. and I'd really be curious to hear about them. Well, I got very involved in it because I was involved in a project that dealt with it. And, um, but it's hopeless, it really is. Um, you could talk about it, I've talked about it for years. I've warned people about specific prisons that they were going to erupt. I remember I did that on the um, Dick Cavett show. I went on one night and I said, the tombs in New York will erupt within the next few weeks. And he got very uptight with me and said, you're not supposed to do that on television. I said, well, that's what I'm saying. And it did, it erupted, people exactly. were killed and all that. People don't care. You know, I'm generalizing, but, but generally people really couldn't care less about people in prison because they did a crime and they're being put away and, you know, let's talk about other things. Let's talk about cancer research. Let's talk about all those other things, but not prisons. That's the way it is. But are they receptive to you? Incredibly so, yeah. They say, come in, see everything. We need money. And they'll tell you right up front, we're not re rehabilitating these people, we're just keeping them here because that's all we can do. We don't have the funds to, to rehabilitate these people. All right, you're looking for a no vote from Sal Minio. You think a woman should marry a man 10 years younger than she? Sure, why not? No, I think if a woman is over 21, she could marry, um, you know, anybody she wants. You're an 11-year-old boy. <laughs> Where was you 
brung up. And he can't... You Looking forward to that movie that comes out and the, the credit says directed by so many of them. Oh, uh, I can't wait. You voted no. Uh, his parents are getting $200 for him. <laughs> That's to buy my own zip guns. And... <laughs> no, I, seriously, I think definitely not. And I just think it would be dangerous and I really can't see anything funny about it. I mean, I, I could not uh, say anything more about it. I just don't think it would be right. Would you trade today for yesterday? Would you go back to those days? I don't ever want to go back, not even a day. Um, after today, it'll be over with, and tomorrow is another day, and it's much more exciting to wake up knowing that, well, something new can happen.